today i am going to tell you about the sizing of cable tray i am electrical engineer working in dubai in a building construction here we have a horizontal cable tray it is the plan view of the cable tray that means you are looking from the top here we have three cables these are three cables and the cables are four core armored cables and here we have 300 mm square four core cable and one is four core 240 and another one is four core 185 mm square armored xlpe cable it has the armor of it has the armor of steel wire and for to calculate the uh, cable tray sizing we require the overall diameter of all cables here the overall diameter of 300 mm square cable is 71 mm and for the 240 is 65 mm and for the 185 it is 58.5 mm so the total overall diameter of all these cable is 194.5 mm so for to calculate the cable tray we need a safety factor of 60 percentage so we need to divide this value with uh, 0 0.6 so we get 324 mm 324 mm cable tray size is not available so we will take 450 into 50 mm cable tray 450 is the width of the cable tray and 50 is the height of this cable tray and here uh, we need to know that how much space is available in this calculation uh, I mean how much space you got by this calculation in between these cables and also between the cable tray and the cable because we need an educate spacing between the cables and between the cable tray and cables see here we got the value of 324 okay uh, but the actual overall diameter is 194.5 so when we take the difference between this uh, we get the value of 129.5 okay that means in this calculation if you get this value you get an extra space of 129.5 mm that is the extra space so we need to know uh, how much space we get in between uh, these cables and this cable tray see here the spaces how much space is here see uh, one two three four four spaces is here so uh, when we divide this 129.5 by 4 that means four spaces are here we get the value of 33 mm that is 3.3 centimeter it means the space between this cable tray and the cable and between the cables are 3.3 centimeter here you are going to tie this cable with the cable tray by using the cable tie so this 3.3 centimeter is large enough for the better laying of these cables in this cable tray but here you have taken this 450 mm cable tray width that means you will get more space in between the cables and cable tray okay and here uh, we have already taken a 0 0.6 factor for the calculation of this cable tray it means uh, 1 by 0 0.6 is 1.66 that means you are giving 66 percentage extra for this calculation of this cable tray now i am going to calculate cable tray size for the vertical cable tray see here is the vertical cable tray it is the sectional view okay so now your cable tray is going from one floor to another floor through the cable tray risol here also we have the same cables as before 300 plus 240 plus 185 same cables as before but we have calculated on the horizontal cable tray 
so after that horizontal cable tray our cable tray now goes to the vertical that means through the riser and here the overall uh, diameter of all the cables are 194.5 as before but here we need to use the 0.5 value as the safety factor so we will get 389 mm but the 389 mm cable tray is not available so we need to take 450 by 50 mm cable tray see here this 1 by 0.5 means 2 that means we are actually multiplying this by uh, 2 it means it is actually 200 percentage that is 2 that means we are actually giving 100 percentage extra for the horizontal calculation we have given uh, 66 percentage extra but here we have given 100 percentage extra so now uh, the extra space what will be the extra space available in this calculation between cables and the cable and the cable tray here our real value is 389 so when we take the difference between 389 and 194.5 we will get 194.5 here also there are four spaces one two three and four that means 194.5 divided by 4 that is 49 mm which means 4.9 centimeter here you might wondering that why we use this 0.5 it means for the vertical calculation in the horizontal cable tray uh, we got the value of 324 but here we got the value of 389 the reason is for the vertical laying of the cables in the cable tray we require to use cleats when cable tray passing through each floor we need to give three cleats because of this cable cleat we give uh, this 0.5 value for our calculation uh, on both sides of this cable the cleat will take 2.5 centimeter 2.5 centimeter here also same here also same but you know in the horizontal cable tray i already told you uh, we would use cable tie for to tie the cables but here we need to use the cable cleat that's why we use the 0.5 factor here we need extra space and you need to know for what cables we need to use uh, cable cleats normally uh, the cables of greater than or equal to 70 mm square we use cleats that means for the cables of 70 mm square and more than that that means 95 mm square 120 mm square cables we need to use cable cleats but in some projects some consultants would say uh, use the cable cleats for uh, 25 mm square 35 mm square 50 mm square cable also i hope you got my point very well if you want more topics like this please subscribe this channel Thank you.